The comprehensive 464 page Masterworks for Tears of the Kingdom provides behind the scenes insights into early concepts, story, and character designs. It reveals how the secret stones were initially envisioned as dragon embryos, how Minoru's floating mantle is sustained by similar Zonai technology that lifted entire islands into the sky, and how Yona, the Zora who became Sidon's partner, was originally designed as a swordsman like Link. The book also explains that in ancient Hyrule, social status was marked by the number of tears painted around one's eyes. The designer's note that accompanies the concept art of Sonya reveals that her character was crafted specifically with legacy in mind. Based on the concept that Sonya is the ancestor of all the Zeldas, her character design borrows visual motifs from earlier incarnations of Zelda, symbolizing her connection to the lineage of princesses. In addition to the shocking revelation of what Gloom does to Ganondorf's body in his Demon King form, which I covered in my earlier video on Masterworks, the book provides a wealth of new details and lore about Ganondorf and the Imprisoning War. Masterworks addresses the significance of the giant tree where Ganondorf spends his time throughout most of the game. It reveals both how and why the Demon King was even sealed specifically deep beneath central Hyrule in the first place, along with brand new, untold story arcs that enrich Tears of the Kingdom's narrative. In the memory caught by treachery, Ganondorf manipulates a false Zelda, a puppet intended to deceive and steal Sonya's secret stone. According to page 349, which breaks down the storyboard for Zelda's Dragon Tears cutscenes, an additional cutscene depicting Ganondorf's creation of the fake Zelda specifically was, in fact, originally included within this memory. However, it was ultimately left out of the the game. The developers reasoned that Zelda could not have witnessed this event, and therefore it was excluded from her memories. Ganondorf is successful in seizing Sonya's secret stone, and awakens as the Demon King, marking the start of the Imprisoning War. He immediately unleashes a devastating attack of gloom upon the fallen Sonya, Zelda, and Raru. Despite Raru's best efforts to counter Ganondorf's assault with the power of light, the Demon King's strength proves unstoppable. Forced to retreat using the Pura Pad, they abandon Hyrule Castle, leaving it vulnerable as Ganondorf unleashes his demonic forces, which quickly overrun the stronghold. Page 389 of Masterworks explains that the Hyrulean army, overwhelmed by internal attacks, was likely also forced to retreat. Despite Hyrule Castle's defensive walls, the original structure was only a single-story building, offering little protection. As a result, the command structure of the Hyrulean forces quickly crumbled. But Ganondorf's conquest did not stop at the castle. His army spread across the land, forcing the Hyrulean forces to retreat north, where they regrouped at the Forgotten Temple. The temple's vast interior made it an ideal location for rallying troops. During this time, Raru entrusted secret stones to the leaders of various tribes, uniting them in a shared resolve to defeat the Demon King, as we saw in the Sage's Vow memory. However, the same page also reveals a sequence of events that was not shown in-game. According to the text on this page, after regrouping, the Hyrulean army launched a mission to reclaim Hyrule Castle from Ganondorf's clutches, but despite their courage and determination, the assault met with devastating failure. Ganondorf's demonic forces overwhelmed them and the battlefield was left littered with the fallen, as countless soldiers perished in a futile effort to turn the tide of war. As a consequence, Raru's forces likely retreated to the center of Hyrule to lure Ganondorf's army into a trap. 
Masterworks reveals that the decision to seal Ganondorf beneath what would later become modern-day Hyrule Castle was far more intricate and strategic than what's portrayed in the game. The reasoning goes beyond simple geography, highlighting a complex plan deeply rooted in the sacred power and history of the location. Page 364 showcases incredible concept art of the location where Ganondorf was sealed. The accompanying Japanese text states their vision for the sealing site, known as the Chamber of the Six Sages, with a massive crater surrounding Ganondorf, symbolizing the the sheer intensity of his battle with Raru. It evokes the image of an eternal struggle, Raru forever forcing his seal upon the Demon King, while Ganondorf endlessly resists. A particularly haunting detail from the text describes the green energy that, in the final version of the game, radiates from the purified gloom through Raru's body. In this concept art, it's suggested to be depicted as an aura, but not just any aura, one that contains the very shadow of Raru himself, suggesting that even after his body is no more, his very essence, his spirit, continues to hold Ganondorf down, while slowly deteriorating within his own purification. The green purification energy that spirals from the sealed Ganondorf in the final release of Tears of the Kingdom is referred to on page 214 as containing Kotodama, an ancient spiritual script that was carved into the spiral seal that King Raru used during the final battle of the Sealing War against the Demon King. Kotodama is the ancient Japanese belief that words possess a spiritual power capable of creating, influencing, or altering reality. Rooted in Shintoism, it holds that spoken words, when used with intense intention and sincerity, carry energy that can bring about positive or negative effects in the world, forming as an extremely potent force in shaping outcomes. Masterworks elaborates that conceptually, the implementation of Kotodama can be imagined as the activation of the Zonai's advanced godlike magic. The book reveals that the location where Ganondorf was sealed, the same place Link and Zelda explore at the beginning of Tears of the Kingdom, was actually the Temple of Light, and was deliberately chosen due to its sacred nature and properties. In Ocarina of Time, the Temple of Light was a powerful stronghold that was closely affiliated with the Triforce, the Sacred Realm, and Raru, the Sage of Light who protected it. Interestingly, the designer's note on page 101 reveals that early concepts for Raru in Tears of the Kingdom envisioned him as an older human male, directly inspired by the character of the same name from Ocarina of Time. However, the design was scrapped in favour for one that portrays a mysterious race that possesses godly powers. In Tears of the Kingdom's Masterworks, it is revealed that Raru and his forces taunted Ganondorf and strategically lured the Demon King into the deepest part of the Temple of Light's sanctuary, where they would hold the upper hand. Confident that nothing could challenge his power, Ganondorf responded to Raru's taunt with unwavering arrogance and proceeded into the Temple's domain. However, according to page 387, this location granted Raru a tactical advantage, as he could draw additional power from external sources to amplify his power of light. Developer notes further reveal that pillars or stakes were initially conceptualized as tools to reinforce the ceiling power. Although it might be difficult to see because of the darkness, echoes of this design can still be seen in the ruins of the Temple of Light, where Ganondorf is sealed at the beginning of the final version of the game. It wouldn't be a stretch to assume that these pillars may have once amplified Raru's seal, extending its strength and duration far beyond what would have been possible alone. 
Page 393 explains that in an effort to maintain peace of mind among the people, the royal family of Hyrule erased all records of the sealed Demon King from the surface world. A passage once connected the castle's underground to the site of the seal, and for several generations, starting with Raru's successor, members of the royal family who knew the true history remained vigilant. However, as time passed, and the royal lineage changed, this vigilance waned. Eventually, the passage was sealed off entirely, and even the royal family was forbidden from entering the underground chambers. Over centuries, the Zonai lineage diluted, and the history of the Zonai people, the kingdom's founding, and the battle against the Demon King faded into myth, their truth becoming ambiguous. The sealed site became little more than a restricted area, with only a vague warning to avoid it, lingering in the cultural memory. The page also suggests that the site of Ganondorf's ceiling may not have originally been so deep in the depths. Over time, geological shifts and the accumulation of earth likely caused it to sink further underground, further burying the truth of the Demon King's seal. Throughout Hyrule in Tears of the Kingdom, Link encounters monuments scattered across the land, placed by Princess Zelda to honour those who lost their lives during the Calamity. Beneath each of these monuments, deep in the depths, ghostly figures resembling Hylian soldiers stand, holding weapons in their hands. While these apparitions seem like mere phantoms, the weapons they carry are real, remarkably untouched by time or decay. When Link takes these weapons, the spirits disappear. Page 437 of Masterworks refers to these soldiers using the Japanese term Bore, the same term used to describe the hero's shade in Twilight Princess, a spirit believed to be the hero of time. This suggests that the hero's shade and the spirits manifesting in the depths are one and the same, bound to the world by similar reasons. In fact, the Zelda series often draws upon various Japanese terms to represent different types of spirits, a topic I've explored in depth in a previous video. In simplified terms, certain spirits in Japanese folklore linger in the living world due to unfinished business or lingering regrets. This mirrors how King Rome remains on the Great Plateau after his death during the Calamity, awaiting Link's reawakening in Breath of the Wild. Similarly, in Twilight Princess, the hero's shade is bound to the world until his regrets are alleviated after he passes his knowledge to his descendant Link. Masterworks suggests a similar fate for the soldiers' apparitions in the depths. These spirits may carry a deep sense of regret, whether for failing to protect the kingdom they swore to defend, or for being unable to return home to their loved ones. By offering their weapons to Link, they entrust him with their unfilled desires, asking him to carry out their final duty. Only then, with their burden lifted, can they finally find peace and move on from the world. The sealing power which Zelda used in Breath of the Wild to save Link and defeat Calamity Ganon is believed to have been passed down from Sonya and Raru, along with Zelda's ability to manipulate time, as detailed on page 385 of Masterworks. Though there are no explicit records of children born to Hyrule's first king and queen, the book speculates that the sacred powers they possessed were likely inherited by the royal bloodline over generations. When Ganondorf reawakens in the present day, after Raru has expended the last of his strength, he falls onto a giant tree known in the game as Gloom's Origin. In Japanese culture, massive trees are often considered to be sacred and linked to the sanctity of a specific area, symbolizing vitality and are believed to house kami or spirits and gods. 
The Zelda franchise has featured several iconic sacred trees, with the most recognisable being the Deco Tree, who himself embodies a Kami. The Zonai race too had their own sacred tree, revered when their civilization flourished in the sky. According to the developer's note on page 233, the massive tree atop the Room of Awakening was once worshipped by the Zonai for generations, and served as a central location for the kingdom's ceremonial rites. However, this sacred tree in the sky wasn't the only significant tree tied to the Zonai's spiritual legacy. Page 426 of Masterworks proposes that the tree that Ganondorf falls onto, located beneath the Temple of Light, was once a sacred, divine presence, providing power to the sanctuary itself through its roots that spread throughout the depths before Ganondorf corrupted it with his dark energy. This would explain why the temple was built underground in the first place as well, not only as a place for worship, but also to maintain a direct connection with this ancient holy tree. This means that Ganondorf was sealed in the Temple of Light, precisely because it was where the power of light was at its strongest. They needed every ounce of that strength to sustain the seal for thousands of years until the time came for the hero to rise again.